This is interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, some people I know were measuring the moon. Mm -hmm. They're interested in space and okay. the sky. The moon was photographed at the same time in Australia and Florida. Mm -hmm. How how would that be? How is that possible? Okay. And this can be repeated in um, different different sides of the globe, shall we say? Yeah. Well, they are definitely upside down, so that it's rotated. Yes, yeah. Okay. You can. I mean, with but, respect to each other. But yes. the same phase. Oh uh, well, it's the same phase. Yes. Why should it be different? Because the phase of the moon depends on the sun. Because one of these locations shouldn't be able to see it. So on the globe, say the moon's here in Florida, the guy in Queensland shouldn't really be able to see it. But this is a full moon, close to the full moon. Close to full moon. So this means that there is an angle at which it's seen. So a uh, full moon means that the uh, it's Earth, opposite. Yeah, the moon is opposite yeah. to the sun. Yeah. But, but still, with the globe, with the Earth being a globe, it, mm. it, it shouldn't be able to see them both at the same time. And this is uh, being repeated. This is an anomaly that well, some if, people if can't it, work if, out. If somebody does it, so it's possible. I, for me, it's like this, you know? You cannot say me impossible if somebody does it. Sure. So then I say it's possible, and then you can ask why it is possible. Then I do calculations. <laughs> yeah. So I would say you cannot argue. If, if this is not... Uh, Mm, a fake news. I can verify this. You know, if it's not a fake this, news, yeah. then you have to say, okay, interesting. It's possible. I would like to understand why. And and then maybe it's possible only a few times a year. You know, you it's, have to. It could be done daily. Daily, okay. Even then, with a then just after new moon. Then it's fine. You know, then it's, it means that moon is far enough from Earth that in the full, uh, close to the full moon, yeah, you can see it like from from the front and from the edge. In a, in the model, there's a model software called Celestia. Yeah. Yeah, you know Celestia? I don't know. Yeah, there are many. It's a mod. Yeah, there's many. Yeah, it's a 3D yeah, yeah. model of the solar system. Yeah, yeah. When you put this date and time in, mm -hmm. you shouldn't be able to see the moon from both places. So mm. there's a problem somewhere. So probably model is wrong, <laughs> I'd say. Okay. This is for me, uh, as a scientist, we're always like, okay, there's a puzzle, there's observation, which is true data. And there's a model which cannot confirm the data. And I'm sorry, the model is wrong. So you would say direct experience is the king. Yes, absolutely. I agree with you. Absolutely. Yeah, I totally agree with if, you. If this is possible, like you... The data has to match yeah, the Yeah, then the model is wrong. Then you program probably... Because that's science. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay.